This conference will now be recorded. Okay, this is now I am explaining one important topic. Most of the cases you will get these type of issues. Maybe this this is you are trying to export. Unfortunately, it is not, unable to export. How to debug scope? What happened? You are trying to export like this, but unfortunately, what it happened? How to debug? Why it is taking? Why it is unable to export? What is the reason? How to how to check all these things? If you scroll up a little bit, somewhere you have application ID. This is very very important. Okay, in your in your production environment also that is important. At the time, what happened? First, in your office also you must store this data. Okay, what is this application log? If you want, there is a there is a one syntax available. Okay, there is a one syntax available that is called yarn log application ID followed by something something something. Okay, yes. yarn logs application ID followed by if you Google it, you will get all the syntax. Simply and get these logs. One minute, I will let you know. Yarn logs application ID followed by this is application ID. Just now you notice something error. This error I want to store in this local file. That is that meaning. At the time, all this logs information stored in this logs.txt. Now, please read this logs.txt. In this log.txt, everything documented. What is the reason? Usually, my recommendation everything just follow this. What is the reason? Can't pass the input data file object. Why the main reason? Why the main reason? Here you mention file object. Pass the input data file object. That is one reason. Similarly, scroll down. Can't export this data. Please check failure control. The main reason. What is the reason? I think data type issues. Okay. Did here what happened? Wait. Yeah. The main reason data type issues. Maybe, maybe one minute. I will check. Now go to last last line slowly update this data. What this context would please check these logs. So what is the reason? Starting time it clearly said this is integer can't uh, pass this data to integer uh, integer like that. You got it as well. Uh, this one here five minutes back. So so you that means I'm guide you what is the reason. This is okay. Please check starting time here. Can't pass this 500 data. What is that meaning? In this here, go to your first of all, what is the error? One minute. Okay. First of all, what is the command you execute? Scoop command followed by testing. First of all, you are trying to export this data. At the time, what happened? Please read this data HDFS. Sorry, DFS. At testing PST ING testing star testing star sometime head. Okay. Now you are reading this data. Where you got it? This one. This is 5000. Here you got it at all. Why? After this data of joining, there is a 5000 data. Here you are getting something at all. How to get and why you get uh, why you got it, this error? My recommendation, go to, I think before export this data, you already created Oracle. What it is, first name, okay, last name, email ID, address, city, date of joining. After date of joining, you have other, other columns also, no, this is schema mismatch. This is the date you said. Many, many other columns also available. So this is not correct. So that's why what are you doing? Okay, please create. One more table based on this export before export this data. Just a minute. Okay. Create table EMP. Okay. If you want, please delete this existing table. Drop this table. First. Next, create table table name. Based on this data, you must create that is also order. Must have same order. What is this? If you want, my recommendation just to copy first line. First line and paste here. 
based on this data create one schema maybe first one fp id this is where uh, maybe integer okay king maybe it is where care where care sorry not king name name sorry name it is where care 32 okay this is job uh -huh. okay. job uh, it is where care 32 maybe after that what is null maybe that is job manager okay like name job and something uh, maybe number okay something number it is number it is considered as integer wait integer after that date of joining it is let's consider string okay salary it is yes one not string i think it, you can consider where can otherwise time step also fine but uh, you must uh, other use cases you have wait okay next salary that is integer okay null and uh, uh, maybe this is bonus okay, next bonus okay bonus it is int okay id something id it is now uh, something department id okay that is integer so you must create a table based on this book exporting data okay blindly don't create anything now now i want to export this data right now then what happened earlier why you got this error can't pass something something exception why here you have this number of column but above you have only four or five column underlined columns that's why okay now try in that way in that way if you want to export these type of commands very very most frequently you are using your office that application id very 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 important now try your all well, best way now this is the data automatically exported don't worry sometimes you will be starting time small small error this is compatibility error don't worry a small small uh, ignorable warnings let's come here yeah, this is application id number four very very important in case if it is failing you want to debug that congratulations this is exported 14 records verification purpose now please run select star from emp really that records exported or not congratulations first data export so that's why before export this data data type is matching and also in that possibility you must have same number of column and same number of data types then only you are able to export otherwise it's not possible to export maybe this maybe you got yes. one idea how to what is the reason in case if it is failed how to debug how to debug this type of command if you want to know these uh what is this uh, these logs okay application logs if, if you don't know google it you will get that one yarn application yarn log application id if you google it automatically you get syntax okay so like this yarn logs application id followed by something something application id that number greater than logs means what is that meaning that all this data temporarily stored in this folder that is that mean that you are reading only this temporary log then you will get one idea in that way you are you, you are debugging spark or hadoop or scope or other logs using this application id maybe this link is useful or you are better carry both if you like please copy and if you have any doubts, please comment below. I will share my love. Nice